Hello, what's up? What's happening? Welcome back to your number of the 24 7 production today in the SAU Dynasty. You gotta do some recruiting, some in season recruiting. Now, we have 25 points on all four of our guys. That's what I usually do. This I just picked four or five guys to recruit. This time around, we're just gonna do four. Uh, that first kid, he is Yusef Taylor. He has a 4 2 2. He has a 4 2, a 42 inch vertical leap. So I'm excited about that. LeFew, Maurice LeFew, he is a, a another recruit that was a 4 2. Oh my gosh, has a 41.6 vertical leap. Oh my gosh, and you can see the theme here. Nothing but cornerbacks. Cornerbacks and one safety. That's just for the end season recruiting. Of course, when we jump into the offseason, we're going to go after more players. But we definitely want to beef up our secondary because as of right now, we only have four people on the roster that tend to be cornerbacks. So sometimes we have safety playing corner and stuff like that. And that's never good. But you can see that we are on the top of their wish list or their interest list on all four of the prospects that we're going after. Now, Trey Henry, he's having a pretty good year filling in for my man Ken Campbell, who is out for another like nine weeks. So he has to right the ship, keep this thing going in the right direction as we take on Ole Miss. Now, Ole Miss, just like every SEC team, they have a great offensive line, a stud at running back, and this quarterback isn't bad either. He's 95 overall, and right there he's going to find a little, and he's going to pick up a big first down. He has 96 throw power, 88 throw accuracy, and he has 88 speed too. Not bad at all. King, he's pretty solid as well. So here we go, man. Third and nine. Connick going to drop back the pass. He's looking. He's looking. Go over the middle to find Stewart. But he's going to be short of the first down. So we take over. First and 10 from the 10. We get the ball to Adam Clark. And the big fella rumbles and bumbles and stumbles his way up to the 34-yard line. Move those chains for the SAU Bulls. Now we get the ball to 32. And that play goes backwards as Anderson gets met by Jackson. Now it's going to be third and 12. Henry looking downfield. We have a man deep. That's Chris Oliver who brings it in. And he's going to use that speed to get into the end zone. Touchdown, S-A-U. So 7 nothing is now the score. The give us to King, and King's going to take this one up to about the 30-yard line. Gets brought down by Keith Ashley, but he has enough for a gain of 9. So second inch to get it right back to the King. Gets some big-time blocks. He's off the races. Gets away from our safety. Finally gets brought down by Dave Lewis, but not until he gets this one in the SAU territory. From the 41 now, it's third and 10. Can take a shot deep to the end zone and double coverage. And that pass will be better away. Excellent play by the secondary of the Bulls. Now here goes Henderson trying to get around the outside, but he cannot. Second and 12, can try to wide receiver screen, and that play backfires as well. So after going backwards on the first two downs, it's third and 15 from basically our own end zone. And take a shot deep to Chris Oliver, who brings it in in between two defenders. One of them being Pat Mackey, number 11, their safety, who is a fantastic safety at that. So here goes Henderson trying to get around the outside, and he's going to pick up a first down. Beautiful run right there. Trying to get around the left side again. This time it's Adam Clark. Tries to make a man miss, but Pat Mackey is there to bring him down and strip the football out. I'm telling you, that safety is something special. And they're able to jump on the fumble. So it's 7 0 for the old Miss Rebels. They have the ball on second and five. And there goes kind of using his speed. He's a big fella. And he has moves too as he gets this one up to the 32 yard line. So it's first and 10 to give us to King. King breaks one tackle. King has a lane. King gets away from another. Finally gets brought down in SAU territory at the SAU 48 yard line. To give us to the big fullback who takes a mean hit. Nice hit right there, and that's going to make it second and seven from the 45-yard line. They go with King. King trying to get run outside, and King gets gobbled up after picking up a couple on that run play. So now it's third and five. Kind of going over the middle, going to find Smith, who makes the catch, and that's going to be a big third down conversion. And go to the left side, and that's going to be caught by Little, who got his big toe in bounds. And now it's first and 10 from the 11. Play fake. Kind of getting rolled to the left side. Stop. Pop. Going to find Espinosa, who makes the catch for a gain of four. Second and six to go up the gut with King. And King's going to get brought down at the two yard line. So it's third and goal. They go with King again, who dived just trying to pick up the first down. But he's going to be ruled down before he picked it up. So fourth and one, they go for it. And not only do they pick up the first down, but they get into the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. And now we have a 7-7 ball game. So first and 10 from the 18 yard line. We got Kenyon Brown. He has it. Kenyon Brown gets away from Pat Mackey. He's off to races inside the 50, inside the 40, and he will score. Touchdown, SAU. This freshman showed the best safety on Ole Miss with the businesses. Gave that for the business as well, and Mackey appears to be hurt. 
So Kenyon Brown, he showed that maybe he should be the number one running back because Abby Clark fumbled versus Pat Mackey, but he's able to break a tackle and take it to the crib right there. Dave Lewis gets in there for the two-yard loss, and that's going to be second and 12. Now kind of looking. Get those ones to the right side. It's going to be called by Espinosa. Up to the 30, up to the 40. Finally gets chased down by two SAU defenders, but not until he has enough to move those chains. Third and five now from the 40-yard line. They go with the speed option. King has it. King picks up the first down, but gets brought down by Hal, who came across the field to make that tackle. Under pressure, it's kind of throws off his back foot. And that's going to be intercepted by Hal. Gets it up to about the 37-yard line. That's going to be a first down after the INT. Adam Clark has it. Clark, he cannot get away from Pat Mackey, who brings him down after a first down was picked up. Henderson, he's going to take this one to the left side, and he's going to get this one even deeper in Ole Miss territory. Third and one, Henderson with the carry. Goes back across the green, has enough for the first down marker, and now he picks up a even bigger gain as he gets this one inside the 10. Third and goal from the five-yard line. Henry looking. Henry throwing this one. That's going to be broken up. Moses was the antenna receiver, but now SAU is going to have to set up for a field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good. 17-7 is the score going into halftime. The SAU Bulls will get the ball first. They have a chance to put this one away early. First and 10 from the 49-yard line. Henderson gets the carry, takes the left side. He has a huge opening right there. Gets brought down at the Ole Miss 31-yard line. First down from there. Adam Clark gets the carry again. Adam Clark is brought down by Pat Mackey, who forces another fumble. So that's going to be two fumbles by Adam Clark. That result in two turnovers, and now Ole Miss has a chance to get back to the game. They're going to find Stewart on the left side. Nice route by him. Picks up a first down. Third and five. Connick looking. Pass time. Throws over the middle. That's being picked off by Keith Ashley. Let's go. Huge play right there by the senior cornerback. And now SAU has it going back the other way. Henry going to look downfield. Has a man open. That's going to be caught by Robinson. The true sophomore makes that catch for a big first down. Now to get the ball to Brown. And Kenyon Brown inside the 40. Picks up the first down. Gets dropped at about the 25 yard line. But six carries out. But 25 for this freshman. Third and six now. Henry dropping back and Henry's going to get brought down. Sack on the play. And now they got to set up for a 49-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up. And the kick is good. So SAU is able to get three off of that, but it still makes it only a two-position ball game. So two touchdowns, and Ole Miss will be back in this one. Third down now. Kind of he's going to take it himself. Using that 88 overall speed to get into SAU territory. The SAU 49-yard line. Now from the 47th, third and eight. And that pass will hit the grass. Beautiful defensive play right there. So they have to punt the ball back to us. We got my man back there. And he's going to actually try to return it. And he coughs it up. Should have called for a fair catch right there. But nevertheless, Ole Miss takes over from the SAU 11-yard line. An 11-yard touchdown run just happened by King. Took this one straight up the gut. Yes, the SAU defense. And now SAU will take over with only a six-point lead. Henry is looking downfield. Henry has a man. That's going to be a diving catch by Chris Oliver. What a catch by the senior receiver. First and 10 to get the ball to Brown. Brown, he's going to take this one to the far side. Gets brought down by Pat Mackey, but has enough for a gain of six, making it third and four. And on third and four, it's going to be caught and dropped by Robinson into the hands of Holiday. And that's going to be the fourth turnover. Two fumbles. One, I guess another from on the punt return, and now an interception that was deflected off the receiver hand. But here goes Ole Miss, kind of going to find Little on the right sideline, makes the catch, turns up field, and picks up a much-needed first down to kick off this drive for the Ole Miss Rebels. Second and five, now they're going to go with the speed option. He gets hit in the backfield and gets dropped by Howe. All three of the SAU linebackers had a hand in that stop right there. Third and going to take a shot deep, and that's going to be a little bit too far out in front. So SAU takes back over to give us to Clark, and he can't get anything going on that ground play. Second and 12 to give us to Henderson, and Henderson, he can't get out of the backfield either. So now it's going to be third down. Henry with time, takes a shot deep, has Fred Moore, who brings it in. First down, SAU. From the 30-yard line now, third and five to go with Adam Clark on the direct snap. He's going to pick up the first down, and that's going to make it first and 10 from the 14-yard line. Going to the air is SAU trying to put this ball game away. Going to find Chris Oliver, who gets brought down at the one 
your line first and go from the one to give us to Brown and Kenyon Brown, the freshman, gets in there for the touchdown. And SAU will go for two to give us to Howard James. And Howard James, the big fullback, gets in there for the two-point conversion, making a 28 to 14 ball game. Going over the middle, that's going to be picked by Keith. Ashley for the second time today, and that's going to slam the door shut on any comeback attempt, and that's going to wrap this one up as well. 28 to 14 is the final. A pretty good game by Ole Miss, but SAU, the number five team in the country, was able to do work and keep this victory and keep this winning streak going as well. Our next game will be versus Virginia. Hopefully, we can get a win there. It will be back at the rodeo back at home, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Awesome.